Gold-minded records, they're not your friends. What up, it's Clive Craven. I'm back again with a brand new video. This time, a review for the movie The ABCs of Death. Um, this film, I actually really enjoyed. I'm going to get right into it. Uh, there's a lot of stories in this. There's 26 separate short stories told by 26 different directors. Each director was given uh, five grand to complete their project, and I'm sure they were allotted a certain amount of time to keep it when we uh, restraints to make this film possible. Um, so basically, 26 directors each do a short in this. Um, there is some standout ones, there's some mediocre ones, and there is some bad ones. Um, let's talk about the ones that um, stand out to me first and foremost. The first one, A for Apocalypse, absolutely phenomenal. The way they start the film is fucking amazing. Very brutal, very extreme, kind of leaves you guessing, you know, what's going on until the end of it. Even after the end of it, I really didn't understand what was going on. I actually had to go read up on it and kind of figure it out. Um, D for Dog was another phenomenal one where a guy basically is um, just fighting a dog. Uh, yeah, he's got on fucking gloves and he's fighting this fucking, I believe a German Shepherd. Um, but yeah, he's fighting this dog and they get into it. Or no, it's not a German Shepherd, I don't think. No, it's not a German Shepherd. But he gets into a fight with a dog. Um, and he's fighting this dog. And, and the, the twist at the end is very cool. I don't want to give it away, but um, it is literally a dog fight. And it is a very fucking cool um, segue. Because you kind of think it's going to be two dogs fighting, but it's a guy fighting a dog with gloves on. Um, very cool story, awesome ending, probably my favorite one out of this whole series on this movie, out of all 26 shorts on this, D for Dog is probably my favorite. Um, another one I remember is L for Libido, really fucked up story, really graphic, this is definitely not one to watch with your kids, um, but it is a great film, highly enjoy it. Like I said, that, that segment, L for Libido, is just fucking awesome, um, you know, the twist on it and how that ends, I, I thought was really great. Um... What are some other ones that stood out to me? Double uh, XL was also a really good one um, about a girl that's overweight that wants to um, shed shed pounds because you know she's getting taunted and, and insulted by everybody she comes across and how that all goes down is really fucked up. I mean, just a crazy, crazy story. I don't want to give any more um, away on that one, but wow, what a fucking phenomenal story Double XL is. Um, another one that I really liked was Young Buck, the Jason Eisner story. Uh, which is the one that, that's done, directed by the same guy that did Hobo with a Shotgun, Jason Eisner. Um, and like I said, his story's called Young Buck, and it's basically about a, a father that's a pedophile. Um, it's also a hunter that goes hunting with his child to shoot a deer. Um, the son doesn't want to do it. He's kind of forced to do it. Um, and then, you know, things play forward in the, in the, a little bit into the future, and shit goes crazy. I don't want to give any more away of the story. Like I said, I'm not trying to blow all these for everybody. I'm just trying to give you a, a basic idea of what they are about and which ones I really like. Um, there is some in here that were really just strange or I didn't like. Um, there was one called What the Fuck, W's for What the Fuck. Really made no sense. It was just kind of random footage um, put together. Um, F is for Fart is a Asian um, interpretation film. I really wasn't big onto that one. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. Uh, I really didn't get the G for Gravity one, and I know a lot of people hate on that one, but I actually enjoyed it after I realized what was going on. A lot of people don't realize that it, the guy had a fucking cinder block with him, but yeah, G for Gravity is fucking very cool. I actually like that one. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's there's some hits and misses on here. Overall, this is definitely good. I'm glad that my girlfriend picked it up for me on Blu-ray. Really love this movie. Highly enjoyed it. Um, overall, I'd probably give it a strong 7.75 to 8. Um, probably closer to 8 because the ones that I really liked, I really fucking liked. I mean, there is some bombs in there, like I said, but 26 different views, you're going to get different opinions. But, yeah, that's my review for the ABCs of Death. Highly recommend it. Highly, uh, highly enjoyed this one. Loved it. Um, that about wraps that up. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below in the, in the box. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys around next time. Thanks for tuning in and checking me out. Peace.